Hello, welcome back to the channel and today's video in the current Facebook theme is what's in my bag. First things first, do excuse the state of me, I reverted back to my usual scruffy shelf, shelf because we're actually got lots of things to do today it's the first day of lockdown and of course if you're running an animal business you still got to go to work even if you can't earn any money aren't you you've got to go and look after those animals now let me start by saying there's two important things that are not in my full camry bag number one normally if we're out and about quite regularly i'll have a couple of chocolate bars in there like a snickers bar for that little boost of energy when you're getting a bit cold or a bit tired out over the fields um well actually three things because i'll often have a little bottle of water even when it's cold, it's surprising you do get thirsty if you're really walking and, and doing the miles over the fields. And better than water, I do usually have a hip flask with a little uh, wee dram of whiskey inside. But they're not in there today. Firstly, not in my bag. It used to be attached to the back of my bag, but I do carry it separate now. Telemetry. That's what I use. Lots of telemetry. Don't go hawking without some kind of telemetry. So we'll get that off straight away. First thing, telemetry. I've got to say... A little bit about the bag. I've actually gone away from falconry bags to falconry vests. Now I've got two falconry vests and I have got an over the shoulder bag that I use for school, education, indoor, it doesn't need so much kit in it. I've got a, a green one of these that I tend to use at outside events and displays and this one here is my work bag and my falconry bag and it's now seven years old and I'm going to tell you who made it because he's such a nice guy and he makes, I think, the best full tummy bags and vests there are. Keith Wakefield. They are absolutely superb bits of kit. He makes other kit like hoods and things, gloves. Spin around, his, buddy. His full curry bags and full curry vests are the best quality. They're not leather. You could just chuck these in the washing machine and get them clean. But do you know what? Seven years, used almost every single day, and he's done a lot of mileage. The only thing that's broke is the popper and I'll put a hook on it say sending it back to Keith who would repair it so Keith Wakefield vests brilliant bits of kit but let's see what's in it now any person that has a hobby will tell you whether it's golf fishing shooting goodness knows what you end up with too much stuff you end up popping things in your bag or in your kit box some of it you probably hardly ever use but it's always in there to be handy trouble is when you carry this around especially with a golden eagle it does get a bit heavy so first off what we've, got, we've got a glove haven't we so first off always got a glove hanging on the hook there we've got carabiner these little quality carabiners from an outdoor shop they're brilliant for just hooking on your folky vest and hooking more things onto we've got a spare pair of flying jesses birds of prey. Let's keep going through this pocket. We've got a couple of margarine or butter pots. Do you know what? They make the best food pouches for your food and if you've got a couple stacked you can have a bigger reward in there and little pick up pieces in there. Brilliant, wash them out, they cost nothing. Oh, cold runny nose, dirty fingers, bit of kitchen roll. You can never go wrong with a bit of kitchen roll. Anything in there? Let's move along. What have we got on here? We've got a magnet to turn on your telemetry transmitter on your hawk. They're magnetic internal on and off switches. We've got a handy little knife that somebody brought me from Spain. Looks like it needs a clean. Handy little knife there. Just hanging on the hook. These vests are brilliant. They've got pockets inside, pockets, pockets everywhere. Okay, what have we got? Oh, so here, incredibly sharp. Serious looking bit of kit. I don't know who's been cleaning this kit. It looks disgusting. Serious bit of kit. And of course, any form of hunting, your job is to dispatch animals instantly. It's not about letting the bird or the hawk, eagle, whatever, kill that prey. It's the job of any hunter to dispatch their quarry instantly. I see videos on YouTube where people are filming their hawks killing its prey. And they say, well, that's perfectly natural. It's not natural because it's a trained falconer's bird. You are a human, you are involved. 
the ethos is on you to put that animal out of its misery instantly. There's no excuses for it. What else have we got? Oh, we've got a handy knife. Open all, really long-term quality knives, incredibly sharp. Someone really needs to get in this bag with a bit of oil for sure. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, <laughs> no wonder it's heavy. We've got another knife, handmade by a superb guy called Gary Knight. Handy little knife, short blade, very, very handy indeed. Let's keep going, let's delve deeper. Oh, couple of spare eagle flying jesses. Always keep spare jesses and things like that because they are the things that do get dropped inadvertently. Here's an interesting bit of kit. It's a clip that goes through on your glove and then when you're flying in company, if you're at a field meeting, who knows if that hawk could slip through your fingers. Now mine never would, but it's easy to accidentally let your hawk slip at something than when it's not your hawk's turn. So a little clip, it's a clip onto your, that's, these have a little hole there, punched into the flying jesses. That way, if you should accidentally let your hawk go, it's not going anywhere. Good etiquette, you don't want two birds of prey coming together in the field. So a safety clip, handy bit of kit. Sadly at the moment, I haven't found any five pound notes in here. Let's go deeper. Lots of pockets. Oh, a creance line for training young hawks. Equally handy in the field to get you out of an emergency situation. Maybe for winding up a lost hawk on its kill. Just one of those bits of kit, a long bit of string basically, that always comes in handy. Certainly in an emergency. Random carrier bag. Never know when you might need one. Oh, a small spare old lure. That way you've got something to tempt something back. I've even had, would you believe it, barn owl get spooked in a school hall, sit on the light gantry, and not come down. When everyone had gone, a lure twitched along the floor. It's never flown to a lure. It couldn't resist that little animal moving across the hall floor. A spare lure. You might even come across someone else's lost hawk while you're practicing falconry. A lure often gets a bird back quicker than calling it to a glove. Oh, this is getting ridiculous now. I feel like some mass murderer. An old knife that's had it that I brought at one of the Spanish sky trials about 10 years ago. It's kind of in there really as a lucky charm or a keepsake. Weighs a ton, I don't know why it's in there really. I don't need three knives. Obviously a good game pocket in the back here. Just for both guys. And then here is Zeus's training mat. If you watch our videos, you'll know what that's for. If you don't, watch them and find out. And a handy dustbin bag for sure. Many uses, always have a couple of handy dustbin bags lying around. And there's one very important item that people often forget. But I need a wee, it's cold, and I'll show you that in two seconds time. Welcome back. I hadn't really been for a wee wee. I'll tell you what had happened. It was in my van. <laughs> Let's just pretend it was in my pocket all the time. Really important actually, when you're out over the fields. It's a first aid kit. Now, you might think it's a first aid kit in case you fall over or get a thorn in you or hurt yourself over the fields. To be honest, it's not something I actually give much thought to, probably should. Um, it's not a first aid kit for me. It's a first aid kit for emergency injury for birds of prey. And you can buy these, some vets actually do them, or you can go online and put things together yourself. Now, things I'd say were critical, depending on the bird, smaller birds, certainly micro raptors like sparrowhawks, you could do with a crop tube. You could do with something to put in that crop tube something you can mix with water and give it a boost of energy. These are, we're talking emergency measures. Something else that's really handy. Sometimes birds will catch animals in water and then on a really cold day, your hawk, your hawk that maybe has flown a duck, the duck's um, dipped into water to escape and your hawk has caught it anyway. That hawk can get hypothermia. So if you can't dry it off or if you can dry it off and it's looking at all dodgy, a thermal blanket is certainly really, really handy. somewhere in here which has now vanished aha 
not a pair of tweezers, they're not what I'm looking for. This is like what's in my bag, in my bag, isn't it? Uh, anticoagulant stick, it, really good at stemming mine and bleeds, so handy to have. Anticoagulant stick, crop tube and medicine, two things well worth having in there. And the I'll first put in kit, your pictures of why you need a human first aid kit. Oh, okay, yeah. Some, <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I won't lie, I, I could have done with a human first aid kit. Um, yeah, I think a famous one was stabbing myself in the leg. Another was falling into a giant wild thorn bush, trying to cross a ditch to find my eagle. Um, and there's been a few others, but they were very pretty memorable ones indeed. But for sure, think of your birds. They do sometimes need that emergency care that could save them in the field and you know, give you time to get them home and get them warm and get proper medical care. So that's what's in my bag. Right now I'm wishing there was a Snickers bar and a tot of whiskey in there, but there hasn't been. Yeah, now I've got to put it all back in the bag. And you know what? This feels so much nicer without those things in there. Oh, and thanks to one of our very best subscribers, Free Bird of Reason. He's going on a journey with his own Harris hook and he commented to see this idea. So this video is kind of for you, Free Bird of Reason. Thanks a lot. Like and subscribe and check out our other videos.